Alright, so today is going to be gameplay mods that I'm going to be going through. And I must say, I haven't had this much fun playing Baldur's Gate in a long time. If you're someone like me and you've replayed Baldur's Gate multiple times, these kinds of mods are the kind of thing that are just going to make it way better for you. And all these mods are compatible with each other, they all work together and they all work with the previous mods I've used in my other videos. So if you have any of those mods, they should all work fine together. Just make sure you check the requirements because I'm not going to be going through all the required mods that each mod requires. I'm just going to be going through my favorite mods, so you got to make sure you download all the requirements for these mods. So first off, let's quickly go over the first mod that I have, which is Carry Away Extra, Patch 6 Ready by Lost Soul Man. It's very self-explanatory, just increases your carry capacity. I'm not going to linger on this one too long. So yeah, if you are annoyed by carry weight capacity, this is the mod for you. Now the second mod we're going to be talking about today has to be one of my favorite mods I have played and I I tell you, you must play Baldur's Gate with this mod installed. And it's called Level Up by Oif, O-I-F-F. -F. <laughs> but this mod allows you to level up all the way to level 20. Now I haven't actually gotten to level 20 yet, but I promise you once you get to level 5, you get Fireball, the Gale, and it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. I. <laughs> I will put a bunch of clips of me using Fireball. And now a brief intermission where I show you my favorite friend, Fireball. Bitch, it's lit. <clears throat> so anyway. And I believe if you use this mod with 5e e spells, which adds a bunch of extra spells to your game, that it actually adds the cool animation. I had a problem where some of the animations weren't playing for some of these new spells. Okay, so my next few mods that I have left are all mods that add extra subclasses. And I'm going to start with this one because it adds an entire new class, and that's Paladin. So the mod is called Devoted Paladin, bracket for subclasses, patch 6 ready, and it's uploaded by Jamil DJMR, and I really like this mod. If you really want to try playing a paladin or just a new class entirely, finding these kinds of mods are great. I'm sure there are other mods like monks and other things out there, so if you want to try those, you can give those a look. I only tried paladin because that's the class I'm really most interested in playing. Okay, now, this mod, I 100% also recommend to everyone. You know, Paladins is a give or take, if you really want to play a Paladin or not. But this mod, oh my god, please, please install this. It's called Casters Extra, patch 6 ready, and it's by Lost Sold Man again. Hi, so my audio keeps getting really busted in this video, so I have to re-record this part. But basically what I was saying is that there is a file in um, in this mod section which allows you to turn Shadowheart into a Twilight Cleric. And it's really fun because you get to have this big bubble around um, Shadowheart. And basically I feel that Shadowheart is just way better as a Twilight Cleric. And I have a few complaints about how... Um, what was it called? <laughs> Invoke Duplicity works in um, Baldur's Gate. Because if you don't know, in D&D, um, Invoke Duplicity, you can cast spells through it. So you can cast, like, Inflict Wounds, um, even though you're, like, 60 feet away. But your duplicate's within melee range, so it's really cool. But in Baldur's Gate, it doesn't work like that. So I think Trickery Clerics are kind of lame, at least in Baldur's Gate, which sucks because I love Trickery Clerics. But yeah, this mod's good. It makes Shadowheart really cool. She has a big cool bubble and she just feels awesome with this mod. Would recommend. Okay, so the next three mods I'm going to go through really quickly. So we have Rogues Extra by Lost Soul Man. We have Sorcerer Subclasses by DIZ91891. And we have Druid and we have Druid Spells and Subclasses by Jameer again. Hopefully I'm saying all these right, but these three mods, basically they add um, 
new subclasses for each of their respective class, and they also add different new features as well, and spells, and stuff like that. I haven't really had time to test out the rogue subclass one, to be honest. In my game, I made Astarian a swashbuckler, which is honestly one of my favorite classes in D&D. If you don't know, you can like attack and then the enemy automatically can't do an opportunity attack on you, so you attack and run, attack and run, attack and run. So that was really fun and it works perfectly in Baldur's Gate as well. So if you want to spice up your rogue, and same with Sorcerer, it adds stuff like the Clockwork Soul, um, Divine Soul, I played as a Divine Soul. And for the Druid mod, it adds Circle of Dream, Circle of Spores, Circle of Wildfire. And it gives you Find Familiar at level 2, and it uses a Wild Shape Charge. Which is interesting, I think that's an optional Tasha's rule in D&D. So, those are the the three extra mods for different classes that I tried out and I had a huge amount of fun with all of these mods. So if you're looking to spice up your Baldur's Gate gameplay and you want something more interesting to really get you into playing it again, um, these are the mods I would highly recommend. So let me know in the comments down below if there are any other games or mods you want me to try out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great holidays and Christmas or whatever. And if you're watching this in the future, I hope you have a lovely day, a lovely week, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.